Hi, okay, so today we're going to be talking about the Singer Heavy Duty versus the Sailrite Ultrafeed. Now maybe it wouldn't be fair to make such a comparison given that the Singer Heavy Duty is a lightweight $200 home sewing machine while the Sailrite Ultrafeed is a walking foot industrial machine that costs about $1,000. But, in the past year, I used the Singer Heavy Duty to sew hundreds of leather bracelets and I sold all of them and my customers are very happy. So maybe many of you out there who are looking to sew thick fabrics, maybe the Singer Heavy Duty would be the right choice for you, at least for starters. Now before we go on to talk about the sale right, let's take a look at what the Singer Heavy Duty is capable of sewing. If the Singer Heavy Duty is so wonderful, why did I have to buy the Sailrite? Well, the answer is simple. The Sailrite can handle and sew thicker leathers, heavier materials, and thicker threads. When I invented the granny wheel last year, I did a video where I explained the thread limitation of the Singer Heavy Duty. Now let me add this. Even if there was a needle size 19, 20, 22 for leather that is compatible with this Singer Heavy Duty sewing machine, then I don't think the machine would have enough power to drive it through the leather. Because the bigger the needle, the bigger the hole that you're drilling. The bigger the hole, the more power you need to drive it through the leather. It's like with drills, for example. When you have a small drill, small drill bit, you can do with a little drill. If you have a bigger drill bit, you will need a stronger drill. And if you're drilling into the mountainside, for example, a mountainside made of clay, made of earth, and suddenly you hit a rock, then you will need to bring in a stronger drill, maybe a diamond bit drill. So it's the same with the leather. The thicker the leather, the harder the leather, the more dense the material, the more powerful sewing machine we will need.
Now, what happens when you take a sewing machine and you try to sew something which is beyond its capabilities? When you try to sew a material which is too hard for the machine to handle, what happens then? What happens is that you begin to see uneven stitches. You begin to see skipped stitches. Now, if you're sewing tarps for your balcony, for example, like I do sometimes, if there's a skipped stitch, if there are uneven stitches, who cares? But if you're sewing leather wallets, for example, and there is a skipped stitch, you can't sell it. If you try to fix it, it looks messy. And leather nowadays is very expensive. So when you sew that leather, you want to make sure that the machine can handle it and you won't have to throw it away. So if you're one of those people who has a Singer Heavy Duty or a similar machine and you've got skipped stitches, uneven stitches, stitches not looking good, crooked stitches, it doesn't mean that you have to jump to the conclusion that now you have to go and buy an industrial sewing machine. It could well be possible that by regulating something here, by tuning something here, this might solve your problem. For example, are you using the right needle for your fabric? Every fabric will have its own type of needle. But there are special needles for leather, there are special needles for denim, there are needles for canvas. Are you matching the type of needle, the size of the needle, with the size of the thread, like in the chart that I showed you previously? Did you look into the subject of upper tension of the upper stitch and the lower tension of the lower stitch. The upper tension is easier to tune by one of these wheels. The lower tension is a little bit more tricky. You have to get to a little screw right underneath the bobbin, but it's worthwhile to learn how to do that and do those experiments because this could save you a lot of money and it could save you the trouble of buying an industrial machine. Now another thing you could try is the walking foot attachment that you can assemble, install onto your sewing machine and it is a type of walking foot. Of course it's not as good and effective as a built-in walking foot that you have in your industrial machine but it does make a difference in many cases. Okay, so we said that the sailwright can sew thicker fabrics, use thicker threads, and it has a built-in walking foot. What other advantages does the sailwright have over the Singer Heavy Duty? Speed control. The speed control with the sailwright 
is a lot more user friendly than in the Singer Heavy Duty. The Singer Heavy Duty, the foot pedal, the slightest pressure that you apply on the foot pedal, the machine sprints forward like crazy. It takes time to get used to it. It's like trying to tame a wild horse. While the foot pedal in the sail right is very, very smooth, you can press on it all the way down and you get a nice, steady, slow pace. If you want to go a little bit faster, you've got a manual speed controller right here. And if you want to go really, really slowly, you can get this giant wheel. It's very, very heavy from Sailrite. It's got a handle and a belt. And you install this wheel here. With the handle, you can even operate the machine manually. Now, by the way, I did find a way to slow down the speed of the Singer Heavy Duty and stabilize it a little bit. You do have to be a little techy to do that. Uh, what I did is I hooked up a foot switch to the foot pedal and I did a video about that. I explain exactly how to do it. If you're curious about that, I will leave a link in the description and you can watch the video and perhaps uh, do something like that for yourself. So does the Singer Heavy Duty have any advantages over the Sailrite Ultrafeed? Well, there could be a couple of things, although some people might consider it advantages, some people might not. It depends what you bought your sewing machine for. For example, the Singer Heavy Duty has many types of stitches that you can choose from, like the zigzag and uh, arcs and all kinds of a double stitch, all kinds of different patterns, while the Sailrite is only a straight stitch. Now, something else is that there are dozens or maybe even hundreds of presser feet that you can choose from that are compatible with the Singer Heavy Duty for all kinds of sewing jobs. While the Sailrite, I only saw a couple. Personally, I would like to see a blind hem foot for the Sailrite Ultrafeet. Maybe you noticed that when I was sewing, I put a row of two magnets on the right of the presser foot to keep the leather from sliding to the right. Now, if I had a blind hem foot, I wouldn't have had to do that. So how strong is the Sailrite Ultrafeed? How powerful is it? We're going to do an experiment and sew together two layers of thick leather. So this is water buffalo leather. It is about three millimeters, which is eight ounces. So if we take two of these the overall width would be six millimeters. Mm -hmm. 